growing up in Greenwood, Mississippi, Fort County, I was unaware how historical my hometown is, lacking the perspective of the Civil Rights Movement and its significance. In addition to the following historical events, such as 1955, the lynching of an African-American child known as Emmett Till in Money, Mississippi. Five years later, 1960, voting education SNCC, SNCC, which stands for Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, featuring June Johnson, Sam Block, Bob Moses, Jimmy Travis, and Willie McGee. Five years later, 1965, we have the Book of Rights story, which was on NBC television about the racism in the American South. I was six years old at the time that Dr. Martin Luther King walked up on my front porch. I was six years old. It's the house that he came to. People were standing all around. It was a white man on the store across the street from where I live. And he slapped a black child. And we had a march about him. Hey, hey, what you know, Slim, him got to go. He was barked out, at, out from up that store. So when I was uh, six years old, I went to school at McNeese, all black school. It was McLean School and was named McNeese from first to third grade. It was a historic school, but it's tore down now. And I also was the queen of that school. There was two schools that, that didn't want to segregate because of the federal government, right? Mm -hmm. the, the government wouldn't put any we'll funds, put funds because of, yeah, doing that, uh, yeah, in the 60s and 70s, yeah. So how was school back then compared to how it is today? Back Last then, it was, it was better. From what doing it now, today, oh, it was not nothing like that. Why would you say that? Because, you know, we go to school, come home, eat, play, no violence against each other or nothing. It so was not like that. It wouldn't no, we have no violence. Everybody knew everybody. Right. So can you tell me about this place called Booker's Place? Oh, Mr. Booker Place is a historic cafe. He was the first black man to work in Lusco Restaurant on Carrollton Avenue, which they just now decided to close the restaurant down. But he was the first black person. And he had a little cafe on East Magdalene, and his cafe is still standing. Glad to see y'all. We don't have a written menu. I'll be glad to tell you what we're going to serve tonight. Everything we serve is a la carte. We have fresh shrimp cocktail, Lusco shrimp. Fresh Can you tell me about the treatment, how they treated Booker in that cafe? Well, and the restaurant let's go yes, they treated him nice you know blacks not wasn't allowed to go in there blacks were not allowed to go in let's go uh crystal grill not them. but booker he was allowed to. yeah because he was the first black cook there as a citizen of greenwood mississippi i stand on the shoulders of those individuals who paid the ultimate sacrifice for human dignity reporting from mississippi valley state university wvsd television studio i'm keon hill